Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bataan Kaito's Origins. Last time we had a lot of fun. This time we are going to continue to have a lot of fun. Um, we have been weirdly told to go talk to the person that tried to kill us. Um, that seems like a good idea, maybe? Like, I'm not entirely sure why we're going along with this. It seems like a terrible idea. Are they down here at the Dark Service Headquarters? I got, the, that was the thing. Last time I wasn't 100% sure where to even find them. Which way were they? So they're not saying he's here. Um, I don't know where he is. Not in this room. Tell me where he is. Okay, Captain's out. So that that definitively says I don't need to come here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> of course, the second I start singing along, it stops. Okay, so I'm slightly is he this one? I think I already checked this. Yeah, okay, so that's Gilda Blames. That's him. Yeah, I came in here. This is nothing. Where is this fruit loop? Where, where would I go to find him? I probably should have found him before I started the episode, if I'm being completely honest, but, like, I never know I, that it's going to be difficult to find, you know? Is there a door in here? No. Where the hell is this Fruit Loop? There's not another screen to go to. Um, guys, I'll be back when I find this stupid guy. Because I really don't have the first clue. Oh no, this is still... So, um... I guess I'll go back and talk to our patron dude and say, okay, you told me to go talk to this guy, where the fuck is he? Probably not in those words exactly. <laughs> hey, boss man. What the hell? He's not going to be the Emperor's residence, I wouldn't think. All right, well, he's not here for me to talk to. I love how I say I'm going to come back when I find him, and then I just keep going. <laughs> I lie to you guys. Okay, I guess this is where I was supposed to come. I'm glad to have known that. I thought I was supposed to go find him. Is he even in here? There's all no voice acting, so this may actually not be the thing I'm supposed to find. All right. Let's hear the officer of finances report. Yes, sir. We anticipated a 7 to 8% increase in military funding from our last report's figure. The contract, coming from Bale Heights forces, has plateaued, with only a 1 to 2% change. I hope this cabin funding continues more advantageous your position. Yeah, because that's what we need to worry about, not the, like, not what is good for the country. Let's see. Excellent. We'll be well rewarded for this. Well, there's you, it just went squandered the, you know, percent increase. So. Thank you very much. To the secretary. Um, yes, sir. We estimate our military's forces have um, decreased five to seven percent since the last report. Wow. 
What? Do we have to repeat that? Yes, we estimate our military forces have um, decreased 5 to 7 percent. Military forces. Oh, so our military is just his military. Okay, that seems as recent staff has decades have paid off. His forces have grown 6 to 7 percent. I hire you. You can't stand there until the. You can't. You can stand there until I give you permission to. Wow. Harris is not a happy camper. Don't give me a positive result. I have no hope in defeating Delhines. You better come back to prove to the situation right here and right now. I should see how unforgiving a man can be. Um, sure. <laughs> is that coming to a room and. Okay, so this is not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm glad to see that. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hmm. Can't move! It's a shame things didn't go better. Waste as a gentleman man. He's quite serious about his work. And of course, everyone keep in mind that Gelder Blame somehow does like overcome both of them. Okay, so yeah. This is not where I'm supposed to go, but I am glad to have seen that. Like that was that was at least worth seeing. <laughs> Alright, so now, for real, I will be back when I figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. Found it! Hey, Soggy. I'm going to go drop in on a friend. Interesting. Why does Millie want to drop out as soon as we're about to meet Bale Height? Because, remember, we don't really know who she is, who her family is, or much of anything about her. I'll be back by the time you're done, so could we meet up here? You'll be fucking waiting out here. I I, I feel like Bale Height knows who she actually is. Huh? Oh, sure. But what's the rush? I mean, she's got her reasons, and we do have to go see Bale Height. Well, all right. I guess we'll see you later on. Yeah. Sorry, Soggy. You, you don't, don't even, even have, have to, to come, come back. back. Yes, she does. I heard that. Well, she was talking to you, I would hope so. Let's go, Gilo. What? Are we never going to, like, make... I, like, it's getting old. <laughs> come on. You guys have been, like, feuding sisters forever. Also, we're going to a situation where we very well could die. Why are we letting one of our party members? Excuse me? We're here at the Quaster's request. Please let us through. You must be Soggy. The doors are open. Go on in. You're kind of sending mixed messages now. Also, I think this is the first time we've seen these guys armed with actual, like, swords and not, um, assault rifles or something. So good of you to join us, Soggy. I do not know you. You, at the Emperor's residence. Oh, you're the. Is that the one? Well, okay. The, the Emperor's, Emperor's killer. killer. Whatever do you mean? I'd prefer you keep such wild claims to yourself. I'm certain you would prefer that. Yes. Wild wow, indeed. We, we saw, saw your, your face plain as day. day. That doesn't make your words any less reckless. On the books, you are the one who murdered the Emperor. Well, yeah, but that does think about books. They can be changed. Which is why you went crying to Varys, and then came here to make us take it all back. Am I wrong? No, we came here to kill Varys. Or kill... Whoops! <laughs> we came here to help kill Varys. Yes, that's the plan. Lord Balehight is waiting. Follow me. You think you'd be a little more respectful to someone who's apparently powerful enough that, like, Balehight has to, uh, 
not bend the knee, but, you know, Belhai would love to just pin, uh, pin the murder on us and be done with it, but he, he's starting to realize he can't. Oh, I still am not going to be surprised if he tries to kill us. Did this once. Now look at you. should be thankful. It's also, don't make me regret recommending you this job. You'll never succeed like this. Interesting. More dark comedy guys. These must be the new recruits they were talking about. Yoink. Sometimes I feel bad stealing, uh, you know, items from people's homes, but not when it's Bale Heights home. All the steam vents. Oh, a library. Bale Heights can't be that bad. He likes books. I give up about every book in this. Seriously? Get a good jolt, huh? I do not believe you've read every book in here. I think you're lying. Interesting. Did I just loot a sleeping man's pockets? Is that what just happened? I think that's what just happened. No use. Can't recall anything. Can't think it can't reach anything. Hard work I'm standing at this desk. Do I look industrious? Bring him back for a change of pace. Interesting. I never understood trading. Yeah, F you. Like, he basically offered to trade me a Magus I already had and was trading to him in exchange for me losing a different one. And I said, yeah, you know what? You can go fuck a duck. Because I'm always polite and industrious. Hello. What is up with serving winches in this game and always bending over to f f have their ass face the camera? Since you're in the double bed's mouth, it's in perfectly with this life this is a dream. Is that what you said? No. Interesting. Bell Heights a vampire or something. No, uh, vampires do sleep. Um, demon, maybe? It actually reminds me a little bit, there's a line in uh, Devil's Advocate where the like people go to um, the Devil's home and it's just like a massive office and one of them is like, where's the bedroom? Where does he sleep? And someone's like, oh, who says he sleeps? Where does he fuck? And the Devil walks in and is like, everywhere! It made me happy. I've brought the boy, my lord. I have a name. It is Soggy the Magnificent. Good. Also, now we actually see Balehight a little bit more. He's not quite what I thought he would be. You're dismissed? Shanaf, leave us. That's what I thought. Forgive me. The Emperor's passing has left me with a heavier workload. Somehow, I really do not feel sorry for you on that one, considering that you arranged to have him killed. It's Soggy, isn't it? I'm aware of your situation. You want the assassination charge stricken from your record. I, I love how just casually they're talking about this. 
Yes, sir. Very well. I'll have the charge rescinded. How, how do you explain this to the people? That was easy. Is that a problem? Uh, no, sir. But why call us here for that? Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I needed to know. Know what? You share your heart with another, if I'm not mistaken. I just wanted to make sure. You do remember that I worked for you. I mean, is this is this really the first time we've met? I know I don't. We never publicly met him in the game, but I was a member of the Dark Company. He should actually know this very well. No matter. Our business is done. You may go. Okay, I actually wanted to find out if he would respond to that. It seems like he is not influenced. Okay, well that's not what I thought would happen. But I have a feeling that something's gonna happen on my way out. That's a great example of a sonic sniper rifle. The sound waves are striking perfect. Machine gun launcher. Don't use it for battling practice. Oh, I like that. There's a treasure box over here. I bet it'll do the same thing like on this side. That's actually a, a really nice touch that they won't let me grab those. At least not yet. Is the verdict in? Well, I wouldn't rest too easy. Same to you, buddy. I have no intention of following you, but accidents do happen. Why the fuck would you... I, I'm sorry, I don't know why. I've been cursing a lot this episode. I apologize. Um, why the heck would you warn people about that? And I happen to think the next one might involve you. <laughs> Although that at least doesn't surprise me at all. Alright, so they're not going to do anything overt like assault me in the square. Welcome back. How'd it go? It went. I'm off the hook. But they're playing an ambush, at least according to the... Again, I don't understand why he would tell me that. Really? Good for you! Yeah. You don't sound that thrilled. What? Did he say something to you? No, it was just really weird. He, like, talked, looked at me for three seconds and said, okay, fine. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Did you see your friend, Millie? Huh? Oh, yeah, she's the picture of health, that girl. <laughs> Very obviously, she didn't go and see anyone. She was just waiting here. Oh, yeah, her. She's got eyes, all right. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. I'll have to meet your friends sometime. See what they're like. Birds, Birds of a feather, feather no, no doubt. Every, Every unruly, unruly wench, wench in the city, city must flock to this one. one. Hilo, shut up. Mm hmm Oh, right. Wow, she really is distracted as hell. Come on, let's go back to the Coisters. We should let them know the charges have been cleared. Why? <sighs> is she setting up the ambush? Like, she is definitely not the picture of happiness. Are you following me? Don't you follow me. Big stupid following, Dan. I do like how, like, the game is linear, but it makes you sort of remember and find stuff. As annoying as it was to not know where, um, uh, Bellheit was, 
like it, it makes the world feel a little bit more real. Like people are having their lives and doing things, and you have to go to where they are. They're not just going to be conveniently placed for you. I want to go say. <laughs> not that it would be very like impossible to redo that, but still. Oh, dang it. I don't know which room he'll be in. Yep, this one. I guessed right. I went to see Baleheit. He said he'll rescind the assassination charge. Really? That's wonderful. Now, here's the real question. Are there any other charges that have mysteriously cropped up? Did he mention... Ah, never mind. Moving right along, I'm going to start you on your next mission. All right. This, is, uh, this episode has not been what I thought it would be. Sir? I want you to fly to Diadem. Oh, another continent. Cool. You mean Diadem, Land of the Clouds? Kingdom of Knights? Are there more than one? Like, I get that that, that, that line is a excuse for exposition to, like, let people know that the place is called that, but it makes no sense for Millie to actually say that. The very same. Diadem's military strength is among the sky's greatest. Are you wanting me to enlist Securing their aid? Their cooperation would go a long way toward keeping Baleheit in check. I'll let Diadem know I'm sending you. Meet with King Ladikon and see that negotiations go smoothly. I think Ladikon is the same king that is in place in, what is it, five years? Understood, sir. Quaster, the Skyliner to Diadem doesn't sail for a while. Will we be on standby until then? How do you know when the... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like me being like, oh, hey, the next flight to Chicago leaves at this time just randomly. No, I've arranged for a private vessel. I'll need you traveling between continents more frequently now. Oh, interesting. Okay. A private vessel? Neat! And wait until you see it. Don't, don't, don't compliment it just yet. Look, Look at the, the half wit grin. grin. No, no one, one said, said it was your, your private, private vessel. vessel. I mean, it's all of ours. It's at least one-third hers. Quiet, you. If it's Soggy's private vessel, then it's my private vessel, too. Right? That, uh, yeah, actually, because we are a group. The ship is waiting in port. You should be able to reach Diadem more quickly than by a liner. I'm counting on you, Soggy. I probably won't let you down until um, until the Blomay kills you. In which case, at that point, I will definitely let you down. Yes, sir. Quaster, what are your orders if an Umbra appears in Diadem? Interesting. At this point, he's just expecting them to show up. And they do seem drawn to us. Eliminate it. Before Baleheit gets it. Even if it's a person who's transformed? Correct. I mean, that makes sense. They, they're they super dangerous. <sighs> and I also think all of them are people that have transformed. The only difference is we actually knew this one. Are you sure we can trust the boy with these matters, sir? He's a spiriter, and a spirit's blessing offers protection, that of a different world. I don't think that's what Gullabalme asked. What better candidate could we hope to find for such a dangerous task? He will come through for us. As a fellow spiriter, I know it. I can feel it. It is interesting. I believe in the original Batan Kaitos, I was the only spiriter in the game. Like, or not really. They didn't act like I was unique amongst the world, but I don't think we ever met a different one. 
I have no objections, Quaester, if you say as much. Let us wish Sagi and his companions well. Although, actually, now that I say that, there was that one group that, like, traveled through the um, other... They didn't just fly through the sky. They went through, like, the astral roads. They There may have been a spiriter in there, now, now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. I believe I'll consult with my own spirit now. Would you mind? Why can't I talk to the other spirit? I want to hang out. I need a friend. We've finished processing the Afterling from the Lava Caves. Its host left no ill effects. We can use it right away, my lord. Interesting. Who is this kid that's bouncing a ball? Must be must be either Shanath's son or Belhite's. Uh, although, doesn't share a hair color with either of them. So, I don't know. Spirit well kid? done. Allocated to Nazca's Machina armor. Right away, my lord. Only four remaining now. Of those on our list... Bine is gone, so Selsica is the only one left. In Diadem, wasn't she? Of course they're going to set that up. Yes, my lord. I've already sent a unit. Get started on Promachination while you're there. I can't imagine those Cloud Fools will actually do as we ask. <laughs> This guy is just, and I, I think this is very common for politicians. They see a way the world should be run, and they try and change everywhere, not just themselves and their, and their immediate surroundings. As you wish, my lord. Interesting. They're not going to talk about who that is. They're just going to make it an obvious question that the player will have to ask. He's going to come in... He's going to come relevant later. It's interesting, he almost had the same hair color as Soggy. But I, there's not been mention of Soggy having any siblings. The world is careening towards its end. We must do something. So is Bailhite actually doing all of this in order to get weapons that can fight Malpertio? Is that is that actually his goal? Isn't that right, Daimon? Oh, this is not Bailhite. Daimon... Also, for anyone that does not know, I was not involved in making the, that choices. I think it was just being more clear about the fact that this is Varus' spirit. Am I going about things the wrong way? Diamond seems very insecure. Like, I, I, I make choices very deliberately. Diamond is like, uh, uh, this one. Diamond. Give me the strength to see this through. Give me the strength to shatter these bonds. Because if I don't, the world... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Before we go to Diadem, I need to run an errand. Oh, um, I don't know we have time. What what are you doing? What do you need? Maybe I have something I could share with you. Oh, no. I just want to check if Mom sent any letters. I'll be right back. Stay put. Interesting. You know, considering we were warned about, you know, accidents happening, I'm a little bit unsure. Well, where am I going? You haven't actually told me where to pick up letters before. Is it in here? I heard a package of arrived here from Hasala. A letter. It's from Mom. Dear Sagi, have you been taking care of yourself? No. 
Oh, bad kid. Teak and Watcho are up to their usual antics here at home. Every day's an adventure. How are things with you? Are you getting to do the things you want to do? For the most part. You know, Soggy, I wish you were a little kinder to yourself. Go out there and find something special for your own sake, not just for me or the kids at the orphanage. Nothing would bring me more joy than to hear you've discovered what you really, truly want to do. Oh, she's such a nice lady. It's not much, but I've enclosed some Magnus and spending money. Treat yourself to a good meal. It's on me. This actually reminds me of my mom. Uh, it's, it's funny. Um, because she's, she's constantly sending just little bits of money and telling me to do something nice. Because, and what she said is that she doesn't see a lot of purpose in keeping all the money to herself until it comes in an inheritance of one lump sum. She'd ra rather see me enjoy it. Take care of yourself, mister. Love, Mom. Oh, allowance? She's always treating me like a kid. Hey, don't complain about free money. Don't worry, Mom. I'm doing what I want to do. Right? I mean, I guess? I guess you are, okay. If it actually gives me the option. You bet. Helping Mom and the others is exactly what I want to do. Mom says that doesn't count, but she's wrong. It's good enough for me. Anyway, I'll have to write her back. Come on, let's go. Millie and Gilo are waiting for us. What took you? Did you get any letters from your mom? I sure did, and I didn't get ambushed, which is also a plus. Yeah, there was one. Sorry to keep you waiting. We can go now. Alright, so let's go to the port. I, I figured something would happen on the way to the port. I had a feeling. Vessel, vessel, where's my vessel? Probably the freaking canoe. Hey, you don't think he meant those itty bitty ones, do you? Well, if he's getting a private vessel for just three people. He probably did. See, there's three of them. Get out! That can't be! <laughs> Quaster Ferris, are you joking? <laughs> That's interesting as heck. Dang, Varus? Is this where all your military spending goes? Master Soggy, I've brought you a ship per Quaester Varus's orders. Listen, you! Where did you learn to pilot that thing? You almost whooshed us into oblivion! Dude, look at the friggin' thing! It's amazing! Your pardon, miss, but the Speeda is a powerful ship. Twouldn't be right to hold her back. Okay, I love the term twouldn't. That's amazing. I want to use that. I want to make that in my real life. Are you here to help us or kill us? Could be both. I'm told you'll be heading to Diadem. All aboard then. The Speedo will have you there in a blink. Oh. <laughs> ah, Millie. All right. So we'll go ahead and save this, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in. I always appreciate it.